All right, it's time for another build project, but I've been kind of putting this one off. Just because with the way I'm doing it, I know it's gonna be a little bit frustrating to me to make this. Also, check this out. You see this? I love this thing. It's real easy to clip on and use all day long, and it hangs on there pretty good. Definitely love this thing. Only a buck. Now, what do I mean when I say I've been dreading this build? Well, it's simple. To take a two by four and get it down to this thickness, for me, with at least the knowledge and the tools that I have is kind of a pain in the butt. And I want the two by four to be as long as it can be so that it has a little more structural support in it. Just trust me on this. So if I have an M4, I need an AK-47. And to do the AK-47, it's pretty much the same size as the M4. So to really get this two by four down the length, or rather getting this two by four down to thickness is a problem for me. And it's a little bit of a reason why I don't make these guns that often. And I haven't made that, I've only made them for my son. That's about it. I haven't made them for anybody else. Because this, this is the one hurdle that's the hardest to overcome. So I might as well get right into it. And I'm making another tutorial on how to build this AK-47, which is pretty much the same as building all the other guns. I can't do these shots out of order. Well, it's side one, cut down. It actually went easier. I just went up a little bit by a little bit by a little bit by a little bit. That was, come on. Ah. Forgot I had the fan going, the earplugs in, and the mask on. It was side one, cut down. I just raised the blade of the, the table saw up just a little bit, a little bit more, 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 until it got through most of it and then flip the board over. Now I just gotta do the other side. That was really slow. So if you're impatient, please don't be impatient. But it worked the best, it was the easiest. The kickback level went down dramatically because there is a high level of kickback here, especially when you have the blade way up there. And especially if you're taking too aggressive of a cut, that table saw, that blade, everything's just gonna bog down. And there's a lot of kickback, a big kickback warning. Be careful. A little, bit at each, uh, a little bit at a time and you'll be good. Let's keep going. I know, you might be thinking, why am I going through all this trouble to get these boards down to the thickness that I want? There's a reason. When you buy a 2x4, it's usually have, it usually has rounded edges. I want to get rid of that so I can use these boards however I want, match them up perfectly for how I want. I want both of them to be the same thickness so that I can make a gun with a lot of consistency. Put it that way. I mean, you could do this however you want. This is just how I'm doing it. Plus, I'm using pallet wood, scrap wood. I don't. I didn't want to buy anything for this project. I just wanted to use what I had. So now it's time to cut my template out and see what I need to cut on the wood. All right. Sometimes you might want to just cut this out rough and then finish it up as you go along, just to get the big pieces out. Because I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna make the cuts into the wood. Usually. Try to have everything fit together like a puzzle piece. I mean, some of the details I cut out, I may not even keep in here. I might change them up. And some of the details that I wasn't intending on putting in, I might put in. It all depends how the build goes and how I think I can make it. I forget, I'm trying to make this quick and I'm trying to make it easy, as easy as possible. Now that I have the template pretty much cut out, I can kind of decide where and which pieces I want to use where, avoiding any knots in the wood or cracks in the wood, whatever there might be. And try to figure out how I can get the most out of one piece of wood so everything stays nice and solid. And actually, this is going to work out really nice for the upper half. Yeah, this will, this will be, this will work good. Let's uh, trace this out. Ah, 
All right, this is gonna get a little bumpy. Time to cut it out with the jigsaw the best I can, and then see what other pieces I have to cut out. It's really not hard cutting this out with the jigsaw. It's really easy. I mean, you just make as many cuts as you need to get the rough shape out, and like I said, sand it and you'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna work on finishing cutting this out roughly, and then we'll be back. Now that I got this thing pretty much roughly cut out with the biggest piece possible, I'm gonna start to make areas in here where I can fit everything together and glue everything together really nice so it's a nice strong hold. And then start to work on the other pieces. Start cutting some of this out. I gotta make the reverse of the notch of the piece I just cut on the bandsaw. I have to use the little scroll saw here because this is too big to fit on the bandsaw. So let's do that real quick. You could also use hand tools if you had. You can see how all this is coming together. With most of this coming together and really having all the pieces cut out and roughed out, it's time to sand some of these pieces down because once I glue this together, I won't be able to sand in there. So I want to get those pieces sanded out now just a little bit so I can glue this thing together and be well on my way to getting this thing finished. And then take the router to some of the edges and round over some edges and then do a nice final sand on everything and start on a little bit of details that I want to get in this thing. you just gotta stop drinking iced coffee. I'm getting tired and getting tired in a shop like this is dangerous. Using these tools, this equipment, you don't want to do it when you're tired. But it's a good thing it's time for me to glue this stuff together right now. I did a little bit of a, a sanding on some of the parts as to where when I glue them together I'm not going to be able to really sand it afterwards, at least not with any power tools. It's going to be by hand. So it's time to glue it together now, finish my iced coffee a little bit, take a break for that, you know, a little bit of time until this gets glued and then route some of the other edges on the butt stock and give it a final sanding and add some detail work. Now, my camera battery died. I plugged it in and charged it. It said it was charged, but it's only got like this much battery life on there. So I don't think it's really charged, but just the same. I'll use it as long as I can and throw a different battery in. I'm using a battery life like crazy doing a project like this. Definitely need a a full day, a day's work on it. I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't even think or talk straight. you could use the wood and the sawdust and the glue as like a little bit of a filler especially if you got some spots or cracks or something like that you know kind of make your own wood filler I don't know we'll see take your time gluing the pieces on you want to make sure they get a nice bond to it you're not going to be able to glue everything all at once so don't be concerned about that glue each piece on individually if you have to just to really get everything on there More pieces on this thing and it'll be glued together. Alright, alright, alright. Come on. I didn't even turn the microphone on. Yeah, I did. <sighs> I tell you, I'm tired. I want another iced coffee. <laughs> I don't know. I'll leave that. Let it sit for a little bit. Alright, let's take this apart and sand it down just a little bit more. I really don't know if this tape worked or not, but it was the only thing I could think of at the moment. It's not going to give a super strong hold, but 
to be just enough. Oh, I gotta drill the hole still. I forgot about that. I forgot to drill the holes for this. I should have done it earlier. I mean, I could still do it now. It'll be fine. It's just a bigger piece to work with. And just throw this thing on the scroll saw and kind of make that a little bit nicer in there. Just gonna use some boiled linseed oil to kind of finish this thing off. Give it a little bit of a finish. You could apply it with a rag or you could apply it with your glove and then wipe the excess off with a rag, whatever you really prefer. Might as well get the M4 a little linseed oil as well since I'm out here and doing it. I'm gonna let these sit for a while, sit overnight before I really touch them. Oh, man, that build took literally all day to do it from start to finish plus filming and such like that. I need to spend the rest of the night editing now. Um, the scuzz bucket, need to go shower. I will see you all tomorrow. Take your time gluing the pieces on. You want to make sure they get a nice bond to it. You're not going to be able to glue everything all at once. So don't be concerned about that. Glue is glue. Uh, Glue eat, I'm tired. Glue eat, glue each. Glue each piece on. Let's do that again. Glue each piece on individually if you have to, just to really get everything on there.